this video we're going to learn about negative and fractional indices. To begin with, let's remind ourselves of the ladder from a few lessons ago. If we have 2 to the power of 1, that is just 2. 2 to the power of 2 is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and so on. So to go down one rung of the ladder, we multiply by 2. Therefore, to go up one rung of the ladder, we do the inverse of times in by 2, which is dividing by 2. So, with that in mind, to go from 2 to the power 2 to 2 to the power 1, we divide by 2. So, to go from 2 to the power 1 to 2 to the power of 0, we divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So, to go from 2 to the power 0 to 2 to the minus 1, we have 1 divided by 2, which is just 1 half. To go from 2 to the minus 1 to 2 to the minus 2, we will divide a half by 2, which is a quarter. But a quarter is 1 over 2 to the power of 2. To go to 2 to the minus 3, we will divide 1 quarter by 2, which will give you 1 eighth, which is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. So we should start to notice a pattern emerging, which is that if I have 2 to the power of minus n, I will get 1 over 2 to the power of n. And there's no reason why this doesn't work for any base number. So we have the general rule that a to the minus n is 1 over a to the power of n. These are going to be our rules. The second rule we will discuss shortly. But first, let's have a look at some example questions. 3 to the minus 2 is going to be 1 over 3 to the power of 2. We can see a is equal to 3 in this example, and n is equal to 2. 1 over 3 squared is going to be 1 ninth. 2 to the minus 4 is 1 over 2 to the power of 4, which is 1 over 16. In C, we have 1 half to the minus 1 third. So A, this time, is equal to 1 half. So we have 1 over 1 half to the power of 3. Now, 1 half to the power of 3 is a half times a half times a half, which is 1 eighth. So we have 1 over 1 eighth. Now, we can't really have a fraction within a fraction, so we need to make the denominator into a whole number. And to do this, we would just multiply it by 8. And then we multiply the numerator by 8 as well in order to keep the fraction the same. So we have 8 over 1 eighth times 8. 1 eighth times 8 is just 1. So we end up with 8 over 1, which is 8. The second rule is that a to the power of 1 over n is equal to the nth root of a. So, for example, if I have a power of a half, that just means we need to square root. So if I have 16 to the power of a half, we have the square root of 16, which is 4. And if I have 8 to the power of a third, we have the cube root of 8, which we should remember is 2. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Please pause the video now, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers.